Hello everyone, this is my project box. This project box is specially for handwriting without tears. So basically there are many kids in different ages that they want to learn how to write properly, but they don't have the fundamental features. They don't have the fundamental knowledge how to do it, right? You just scribble down. So our job, our role as occupational therapist is to teach children, doesn't matter the age, how to write properly with the right direction, the right size, and the right space between each letter. How to form, how to recognize letter, and how to make it as a sentence and even as a story. So let's begin. So this is what the box includes. You can see inside. So first of all, every therapist, individual, so video, OT and OTA received a bag with those belonging inside. And this box, I put it inside the clinic as well. So basically it starts like this. Over here, there is explanation about handwriting, about the fundamental for handwriting, for proper handwriting, the proper grip of pencils. So first of all, each child needs to start just to color and to hold crayons. It's better to hold broken crayons for a proper grasp. Second of all, there is a strategy over here for a proper grip, and you can see over here. So let's say this is a pen. We can teach the child to hold it with the thumb and with the index finger, and just flip it, okay? Now, when we flip it, you can see the thumb and the index finger hold properly the pencil. The third digit is laid on the third digit, and the fourth and five are tucked inside. Okay, then they can write. Again, you can tell the child to do it several times. <laughs> it can also happen, of course, like that. Several times and now. For example, how do we know if it's proper and strong enough? If, for example, the pen going to fall, it's not strong enough, okay? So you just instruct the child to move the hands in that direction, flexion, the wrist flexion, and to see if the pencil drop or not. So all the information and the instruction over here. Also, for every child, uh, there is different pressure, okay, of the strength of the arms. That's why I put inside the box this popping tube. So there are some children who have like too much pressure, too much strength, they don't have awareness of the, of the muscles of their body. So this is very good for muscles awareness. And also there are children who have like very, very uh, soft grip, very, no, there are no like strengths of the upper extremities. So this is excellent uh, tool and exercise uh, to maintain and increase the strength of the upper extremities. Let's say someone pull, pull it please. And it's pulling. Perfect. So again, all the instructions belongs here. Now. This is based of evidence-based. It's uh, by Willingham, 2017. He um, made up of five different letter skills that basically in order to know how to recognize and write letters uh, uh, properly, they need to use all the senses. So for example, uh, visual discrimination letter. So children need to know that letter can look the same, but there are some different type. For example, E and F. E have lit small line underneath F doesn't have, or let's say lower letter B, D, P, it's the same form, the same shape of letter, right? But the same shape, but in different directions. But it again is different meaning. And of course, we need to say the name of the letter, we need to sound it, we need to write it, and we need to say what starts with that letter. So this based on evidence-based. Other one, that every therapist receives. This is a, a proper way how to write letters, the proper direction. So they can print it, they can give it to children to color it, they can give it in a trace, just to trace it on top of a special uh, elimination and just to erase. Excellent exercise. Another exercise that we have over here for writing without tears, each therapist get over here a package of uppercase letters and lowercase letters with um, 
pictures, let's say F it's fish, S it's sun. And here I touch some fun activities to use with those papers. So of course, every therapist can copy paste all the time and give it to children to trace it, to cut it. It's uh, fine motor skills, it's uh, scissor skills, cutting skills. Also they can use, for example, a gross motor skills, an obstacle course. Let's say we put the letter on the floor and we just tell the kid, now jump uh, to the letter F and the kid jump to F jump to letter that start with uh, the word sun and they're going to jump to S. Uh, you can also do, for example, card game. If I have, um, I have uppercase F, do you have lowercase F? And then you can give it to me. So this is excellent exercises, some fun um, activities to do inside. Another activity for writing, for proper writing without tears, it's this uh, scratch book. So for example, we can teach the children to write it properly, and after that they can erase, okay? Or let's say they can write the letter S and they can draw sun. And it's excellent for kids, even for a daughter one, other ones. Another activity that we have inside uh, that made, those are some letters over here with Q-tips. Now you can see that every part have different colors and the children, they need to discriminate which cutie belongs. So let's say pink and blue, the right direction. I give it to patient, her name is Sienna. So first I told her, find the letter of your name from the cards. She found S-I-E-N-N-A and then she just put the correct uh, Q-tips with the correct colors on top of the table, which is excellent for letter formation, recognition, and also color recognition uh, and visual uh, perception. This is the other activity that I put inside. This includes kinetic sand and also water bits. So in this way, every therapist have this box and they can use this sensory pen and they can just trace letters inside the kinetic sand, uh, words and everything regarding the what your beats. They can use it for uh, counting. And why I say that is because I also include this ABC number and letters cards. So for example, if I have the letter, the number five, okay? They can write five on the sand, or they can give me five bits. Also for all their uh, kids, I can tell them, oh, you have five. If I give you five more, how many do I have? And then they need to give me 10 bits, 10 water bits. Everything includes over here. This is, by the way, also good for sensory uh, integration, and there are some toys inside and scratches, so it's also for creativity and imag imagination. The same like the numbers with letters. So I can just place the letter here. I can tell them to trace it. I can cover half of the letter to see which letter they think it is and just to form the letter from that. Or for the older kids to spell it. Oh, what is S? It's so. Let's spell it. So this is a kit that I made. This is a project for handwriting without tears. And I'm sure that every therapist who's going to use it is going to have excellent results. Thank you.